get ready to be amazed. Here are 10 emerging technologies that are sure to change the world as we know it. From artificial intelligence to blockchain technology, these innovations are set to revolutionize industries and make our lives easier. Before we begin, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos. So, without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Blockchain. If you're like most people, the term blockchain probably conjures up images of Bitcoin. But the truth is, blockchain is so much more than that. In fact, it has the potential to revolutionize the way we do business and interact with one another. So, what is blockchain? Simply put, it is a digital ledger that allows transactions to be recorded and verified. Sounds simple enough, right? But the implications of this technology are far-reaching. For one, blockchain is incredibly secure. That's because each transaction is verified by multiple computers on the network. This means that it would be nearly impossible for someone to hack the system and fraudulently alter or delete data. Another benefit of blockchain is that it is transparent. All transactions are visible to everyone on the network. This could potentially eliminate the need for middlemen, such as banks or brokers. Number 2. 3D Printing 3D printing is a process of making three-dimensional solid objects from a digital file. The creation of a 3D printed object is achieved using additive processes. In an additive process an object is created by successively adding material to it, layer by layer, until it is complete. 3D printing is the opposite of subtractive manufacturing which is cutting out slash hollowing out a piece of material to create an object. 3D printing enables you to produce complex, functional, shapes using less material than traditional manufacturing methods. 3D printing is a relatively new technology and it is constantly evolving. The first 3D printer was invented in 1984 by Chuck Hull. 3D printing technology has since been used in a variety of industries including aerospace, architecture, automotive, biomedical, dental, education, fashion, food, and many more. Number 3. Fighting fire with sound. When it comes to fighting fire, sound waves may be the answer. Researchers have been experimenting with using sound waves to extinguish fires, and the results so far have been promising. The idea is that by creating a sound wave with the right frequency, it is possible to disrupt the combustion process and extinguish the fire. The sound wave would need to be precisely tuned to the specific frequency of the fire, which would vary depending on the type of fuel that is burning. So far, the results of using sound waves to extinguish fires have been promising, but more research is needed to perfect the technique. If successful, this could be a powerful tool for firefighters to use in the fight against fires. Number 4. Connected Homes As the world becomes more and more connected, so to do our homes. More and more devices are being equipped with internet capabilities, allowing us to control them remotely or receive updates and alerts from them. This trend is only going to continue, with an estimated 20.8 billion devices expected to be connected to the internet by 2020. This increase in connected devices is giving rise to the connected home, where various devices are all linked up and can be controlled and monitored from a single central point. This can be done in a number of ways, such as through a dedicated home automation system, a mobile app, or even through voice commands. There are a number of benefits that come with a connected home. For instance, you can save energy by monitoring and controlling your home's temperature and lighting remotely. You can also improve home security by setting up alerts and notifications for when doors or windows are opened. And, if you have connected devices that use sensors, you can gather data about your home and its occupants that can be used to improve your home's comfort, safety, and efficiency. Number 5. GPT-3 In June 2017, OpenAI announced their newest artificial intelligence model, GPT-3. GPT-3 is a machine learning platform that is designed to generate human-like text. The platform is based on a deep learning model called a transformer. GPT-3 has been designed to generate text that is indistinguishable from text written by a human. To do this, the platform uses a number of techniques, including natural language processing and machine translation. In addition to being able to generate human-like text, GPT-3 is also able to understand and respond to questions about the text it has generated. This allows the platform to be used as a chatbot or virtual assistant. OpenAI has released a demo of GPT-3, which you can try out here. Number 6. Satellite Constellation A satellite constellation is a group of satellites working together to provide a specific service or coverage area. These satellites are usually in orbit around the Earth, and are often launched into space as a group. 
there are many types of satellite constellations, each designed for a specific purpose. For example, the Iridium satellite constellation provides global voice and data coverage, while the GPS satellite constellation provides precise positioning information. Satellite constellations can be very large, with some consisting of hundreds of satellites. The largest operational constellation is the Iridium system, which has 66 active satellites in orbit. Constellations are often launched as part of a larger satellite system. For example, the Iridium system was originally launched as part of the Global Star Satellite System. However, the two systems are now operated independently. Satellite constellations can provide many benefits over traditional single satellite systems. For example, constellations can provide coverage over a larger area, and can be more resilient to individual satellite failures. Number 7. Hydrogen Fuel Cells Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe, and it can be used to power fuel cells. Fuel cells are a type of battery that can generate electricity from a chemical reaction between hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen fuel cells are more efficient than gasoline engines, and they emit no pollutants. Hydrogen fuel cells have been used in spacecraft for decades, and they are now being used in cars and trucks. The first commercially available hydrogen fuel cell car was the Toyota Mirrier, which was introduced in 2015. Hyundai, Honda, and Mercedes-Benz also offer hydrogen fuel cell cars. Fuel cells are not just for cars. They can also be used to power homes and businesses. Fuel cells can be used to generate electricity and heat, and they can also be used to produce hydrogen. Fuel cells are a clean and efficient way to generate power, and they offer a number of advantages over traditional power sources. Fuel cells are quiet, they have a small footprint, and they can operate in extreme temperatures. Fuel cells are also scalable, meaning that they can be used to power anything from a car to a city. Number 8. Edge Computing We are in the midst of a computing revolution. The way we interact with technology is changing, and so is the way that technology is delivered. The cloud has been the dominant force in computing for over a decade, but a new era is dawning, the era of edge computing. Edge computing is a distributed computing model in which data is processed at the edge of the network, close to the data source. This is in contrast to the traditional model in which data is processed centrally, in a data center or cloud. There are many advantages to edge computing. One is that it reduces latency, or the delay between when a user request is made and when it is processed. This is because data does not have to travel as far to be processed. Edge computing also reduces bandwidth costs, since data does not have to be sent to a central location to be processed. If there is a problem with the connection to the central server, data can still be processed at the edge. This is especially important for applications that require real-time data, such as video streaming or virtual reality. Edge computing also offers more privacy and security. Data can be processed locally, without being sent to a central server. This means that sensitive data can be kept more secure. Number 9. Graphene. Graphene is a one-atom-thick layer of carbon atoms arranged in a two-dimensional, hexagonal lattice. It is the basic structural element of other allotropes of carbon, such as graphite, charcoal, carbon nanotubes, and fullerens. It can also be considered as an indefinitely large aromatic molecule, the ultimate case of the family of flat polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Graphene is one of the strongest materials known to science. It is more than 200 times stronger than steel and has unique electrical properties. Scientists have been trying to create this material for years, but it was only recently that they were able to successfully isolate and study it. The potential applications of graphene are vast. It could be used to create super strong, lightweight materials for use in everything from airplanes to automobiles. It could also be used to create flexible electronics, such as roll-up displays and bendable batteries. The key to graphene's strength is its atomic scale structure. The carbon atoms in graphene are bonded together very tightly, forming a strong, flat sheet. This structure also gives graphene its unique electrical properties. Graphene is an excellent conductor of electricity and heat. It is also nearly transparent, yet so dense that it is impenetrable to even the smallest particles. Since then, graphene has been used in a variety of applications, including touch screens, flexible electronics, and water filtration. Graphene is also being investigated for use in other potential applications, such as energy storage, biomedical devices, and quantum computing. That's all for today, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to hear more videos from our channel, subscribe and make sure to turn on the bell icon.